All right, welcome traders. Patrick with Trading123.net. Here we are on Friday, October 25th, 2024. And it's finally Friday. And on Friday, you usually have economic news uh, that comes out. Today we had retail sales, core retail sales, durable good orders. And at 10 o'clock, the U of M consumer sentiment numbers that move the market. So the market shot up on that information, and what goes up does come down. So at the open, we got a Kentucky Derby type move out of the gate. Off and running up we go. We start the bot, anticipating that we'd go up because of the news, and we did. And within one minute, we made eight hundred and ten dollars in a great trade on three contracts. There is a strategy performance, 100% winners, and all the numbers there, largest winning trade, 400. So overall on the day, we did about 10 trades. We had nine winners and one loser. Got whacked on one, some bad timing, but we bounced back. You know, with our software and our bot and all our indicators, you can use them to trade all the futures out there and the micros. So watch next week. I'll be uh, making some videos trading the micros, MNQ. I meant to do it today, but with the news of the market springing out of the gate, I kind of got hypnotized by the bot and the market and just kept trading and letting the bot do its thing through the daily cycle today so just imagine this goes up here and most people are thinking they should short it so they go short and probably within 10 seconds this thing bounced and they lost their ass so you let the bot do the work so let's look at the other trades and then here we wait till after 10 o'clock. We start the bot. We're using our trade cup here, here on five accounts. And up we go for some quick profits. Four twenty-five times five accounts is over $2,000 there. So the market rallied up here. This is from the other screenshot. And then this is the final outcome of the trade. Had another leg up, pulled back, and then started a downtrend that the bot caught. So we got a little positive slippage on that for 907 profit. So that's our second trade. And got to ask yourself, 61 years old, do you want to keep trading or do you want to go back to bed? <laughs> uh, just kidding. Love to trade. Um, so... <laughs> So either call it a day or keep trading. The market's pretty active, so we're going to keep trading. And we pretty much had a record day today. You know, most people don't understand that the market's going to these all-time highs now. And, you know, just phenomenal trades are happening every day. And here's the strategy performance. I think on the rest of the trades, I didn't do the strategy performance. It just takes too much time. Get in another trade. Now, you remember what I said at the beginning, what goes up must come down, and this is the start of a downtrend right here. So just after 10.30, we start the bot, catches a nice downtrend here, and the trend was down, so it didn't take this move, and somehow it missed this move, and then it missed this move, and I'm going like, what the hell, I just missed out, and uh, then finally it flushed. And the bot took over and did its thing like it usually does in 810 profit. There's a strategy performance. All the numbers, 100% winner. Then here at the end, I took a screenshot of the trade copier. If you want to save 20% discount, visit the link below the title here for the Flowbots Repolinko. Save 20% off it. Start copying trading your accounts. And then here's our next trade, our one stop of the day. 
I got involved in the, you know, the emotions and the hype and the adrenaline rush of trading and making money and just want to keep trading and started the bot here. It took a short. It really shouldn't have took the short. It, it was uptrending, so probably a bad tick or bad data feed or something, but that hardly ever happens. And then up we go and get stopped. And so after that, we cut the trade and take the loss and move on to the next one. And there's another reason I didn't follow the rules of trading that we outlined in the manuals and videos that I did here because I was hyped up in the market. The adrenaline was adrenaline was flowing and, you know, like I said, wanted to make another trade. So there is a rule that we stick by and I did not follow it so that's why I pretty much got whacked it's a very simple rule and the answer is on the chart so here's our bounce back play I get back into trade it goes short right away and hits a profit target then stop and then a long markets kinda lagging here at the highs and you can tell by reading the chart and then it peaks here and gets short shut off the trend filter here as you see it's at a high and knew it was going to go down so we get our 673 and a bounce back play and then here's the next trade about a minute or two after that last one I you know being aggressive want to keep trading the market's moving nicely start the bot let it do its thing get short here and then a reversal and then we get another 605 profit and here's the next trade just after 12 market was moving nicely and I traded with the trade copier here on five accounts and we're going up here and we get 557 on this one then here's our next next trade uh, we're using our cloud indicator a new cloud indicator here that identifies the trend and support and resistance and you use the trail stop you you know use the guidelines of the trail stop with the cloud lines and here the bot just goes to work gets short gets long up and down moves and we get a quick eight hundred and twenty dollars during lunch and the cloud indicator has the same color coded background as the algo bot uh, but it works different than the algo bot and the cloud has these green arrows when to get long and when to go short like see here it goes short on this red arrow or the bot does confirming the move and like this upper red line here would be your stop and then it goes long and so you can use the upper line or the lower line as your stop or put it right in the middle like we have there uh, see there's a zoom in you can see our trail stops like right in the middle I got it dialed in and then it went you know another short here but the overall trend was up and that's the way it works you know, there's a lot of technology advances in trading and using indicators. And so, you know, just using moving averages and some of the other stuff that's been around forever, you got to use the latest technology. That's why we developed this uh, cloud indicator. And, you know, I'd say nowadays, um, And as always, trading's about support and resistance. As you see, this white line here on the chart is support and resistance. Market sells off below it, bounces into it, bounces down, bounces, boom, $831 with the bot. We had a little stop here, but then, you know, the momentum got going and we hit our goal. So in this trade, I was answering some emails and just seeing 
you know, that the market was still moving nicely, so I started the bot, you know. And then same with this trade here, you know, coming into the 3 o'clock time frame, market began to slow down and just ran it. And, you know, it's still moving, and we picked up $468, and we called it a day. So pretty long video, a lot of trades, 10 trades, usually only do six or eight. But like I said, it was a rally day, market moving. What goes up does come down. And that's the way you got to look at it. Take advantage of the big move in the morning. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Hit that like button. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So it was a great day with the bot. Have a good weekend. We'll catch you next week. Good luck with your trading.